Whatever he is, please. Hi. Hey. <laughs> well, this is a good way to start my video. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> Wing night. We're going for wings. Wing. We are at the Wooden Keg in St. Clair, which we've been... This is going to be the most interesting vlog you have ever seen. <laughs> We're at the Wooden... <laughs> We're at the Wooden Keg in St. Clair, Pennsylvania. For wings, it's wing night. It's not really wing night, but it's wing night for me. Blake's Caramel Apple Cider. You don't want to see that face. It is amazing. It tastes just like a caramel apple. It is sweet. Um, it is a sweeter cider, but that aftertaste is like super caramel. This is good. So if you can find Blake's Caramel Apple anywhere on tap, that one is really, really nice. We all ordered basically the same thing. We love the wings here, and then the keg itself has its own sauce called the keg sauce, and that's one of the best. It's like a creamy mild sauce. So we all, we all ordered basically the same thing. I think Stan ordered boneless. Sam and I ordered not boneless. Um, but once that comes out, I'll show you that. And we'll have a look around the place. It's very, very busy tonight. So uh, just a lot of patience and our waitress was amazing and turned the music off me <laughs> so I could talk. Um, but yeah, this place is historical. Uh, it is one of the places that the Molly Maguires used. Um, if you don't know who they are, that's great because I don't really have the means to tell you. All right. Just from down, we're downstairs. It's an old style basement and then over in the corner, right there, oh, okay, she turned the light on as well, um, is an old tunnel that they use to tunnel underneath the ground, I suggest. You can only go through, through so much. Let me get my history correct, and then I'll sound more smart, so stay tuned. So the Molly Maguires were a group of men that band together to stand up against the owners of the mine for better work conditions, being that the owners would charge them for things like their tools or just labor. I believe clothes was another thing. Just anything you could possibly think that you would have need for that mine you were charged for. So let's look at this as like a Robin Hood situation. They stood up for the oppressed. In doing so, they were dangerous. They killed. They made things explode. They created havoc and they were all in jail. Um, one of the most famous being in Jim Thorpe's jail, which hopefully 
we will get to do at a later date because that is amazing and then I can talk about it more then and <laughs> not sound so woo uh, but this the keg this tavern that we're in right now was owned by Martin Dormer which was one of the associates of the Molly Maguires um, so it has big history and that that tunnel over there also has a big history because it was used for them to hide out in. Um, it, go, it, it used to go way back, but if you can tell, it's so creepy. It's so creepy, guys. And it's, it's a little bit harder to tell right now, but it's, it is boarded up like way back there. This thing goes back yet another, I'd say at least mile and a half, two miles. Where it ends, I have no idea. I've never gone any more than like in there. But it is creepy, it is a tunnel, there's a large step that I'm not walking down right now. I mean, yeah, it's, there's, there's nothing uh, pretty about it. So on top of just a huge thick history that this building has, it also has a speakeasy. I'm not even kidding, an in-use speakeasy. You can rent this speakeasy for free, I believe. Don't quote me, but the last I checked it was free, but you had to pay for the food and the alcohol of the speakeasy. We will go up there later and check it out. It is amazing, it's beautiful, it is one of my favorite parts. So, the keg has the upstairs with the main bar and seating, outdoor seating. Downstairs where I'm at right now, which is nice and quiet. And then a speakeasy on the side for private parties. So, this place is huge and it is really nice and it just like reeks of history which is amazing on top of that the beer is good my hard cider is amazing they do cocktail flights and the food is excellent so you can tell i've been here a lot like i didn't even get my food yet but i'm like no food's excellent because it is because i know it is but it is one of our favorite spots to come for wings like i said we do love that wing that wing sauce that cake sauce um but yeah, let's wait for our food and then we'll go upstairs and check out the speakeasy. Food is here. This is the cake wings with that cake sauce, Irish style, which means over fries. Hence why I get the extra sauce because then I could dip my fries in it. So check it out. First few bites in, and it is amazing. Wings are crispy. That sauce is a nice, mild, it has a, a little bit of a ting to it, not much, nice and creamy over top of fresh cut fries. So if you like like a mild creamy hot sauce, we take sauce is the way to go. Wings are incredible. Fries are always on point. So this is a huge thumbs up. So this is the upper upper deck, the upper bar. There is a bar. There's seating. And I did say there was a speakeasy. And there is. right through the bookcase. This is the wooden cake speakeasy. Check it out. It is awesome. Not only do you have the whole speakeasy with all the seating in the back which is dark. It's slightly hard to see. Would be your bar, your private bar. I'm sorry for the darkness. But you would have a private bar back here. Oh my goodness, you can't see. And enough for a buffet going around that side. So bar here, buffet there. And there's a sound system, I believe. 
Are there TVs? Oh, there are TVs. And you can get music back here. You can close it off. The cool part is not only can you go through the very cool door that Stan's standing in. <laughs> you have your own separate entrance. With. Oof. Can I do it? Yes. You can make them say a password. Check it out. So that goes out then to the deck of the bar. To me, this is like the most amazing room here. And I am in love with it. And I want nothing more but to throw a party here. So that was the wedding keg in St. Clair, Pennsylvania. Come check them out. The food is always great. The drinks are great. The atmosphere is phenomenal. It's all about that atmosphere. The history is so thick here. It's amazing. So I will leave in comments below to follow them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram. They have a website as well. You can actually view their menu, see what they have. They do specials. They do different nights. They have like a crab. Is it a crab leg night or a seafood night? I'm going to be down here for that one. Steak night. Oh, they have a steak night. That's right. I forgot about that, too. That sounds good, too. Or crab legs and steaks. That sounds even better. If you like what you saw today, give me a big thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe for future adventures. Hit that little bell. Make it ring or not. But do. Do it. <laughs> to be informed of future adventures. And until we eat again, stay geeky.